This video will show how to create a simple sizing file for the z-axis of a pick-and-place application. The first thing we need to do is create the motion profile. To pick up the part, the motor will extend 70 millimeters and 200 milliseconds. The next move will be a 300 millisecond standstill while the part is being picked. In 200 milliseconds, the motor will retract 70 millimeters. The stroke needs to be set to negative 70. The final move for this motion profile is a 300 millisecond standstill. In the global settings, we need to input the moving masses and the orientation of the motor. This application will use an H guide, and its moving mass can be found in the E catalog. We'll be using 1,190 grams. We also need to check if we have the correct slider selected for the guided system. The total mass being moved will be that of the H guide, 1,000 grams for tooling, and 500 grams for the product being picked. In general, 5 to 7 newtons of dry friction are added and the orientation needs to be changed to vertical with positive going down. The layout should be checked to make sure it's on moving slider. The info tab is a place to document details about the application. In here, I will record the breakdown of the moving mass. Then click OK to save the changes. Notice that there's an error for thermal load. In the global settings, make sure the moving masses are set up correctly. We need no additional mass for the guided system. This is because the moving mass for the H guide also includes the slider. Notice that the warning went away. In the column on the left, we see that the thermal load is near capacity. We also see the peak supply to properly size the power supply. We are currently in the Limits SF tab, and that shows the stroke limits and the force limit. The Limits PT tab shows the power dissipation, the percentage of short-term overload, and the percentage of thermal load. The Kinematics tab shows stroke, speed, acceleration, and force. The Layout tab shows a diagram to reference the stator and slider positions at both ends of the stroke. Once we've determined that everything looks good, we can save the file. One last thing to show is the Efficiency tab. This page shows the difference in electricity consumed and the cost per year to operate between the Linmont linear motor and pneumatic cylinders. Thank you for watching Linmont tutorials.